Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows 8 tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be showing you on how to go ahead and close a Windows app using a slightly different way. I'm sure we've come across this method. And what this is, it's called a threshold method. And what a threshold is, is usually when it begins at something and has a different effect. Now, if we were to go into our start menu, we have apps right here. For instance, I have maps open. If I wanted to go ahead and close it, there are some methods and these methods can be mentioned on a YouTube channel called uh, Lord Rasiri. The method I'm going to go ahead and use might be slightly easier. And what this is, is if I go ahead and move my mouse or my finger all the way to the top of the screen, you'll see a hand icon. And with that hand icon, if you go ahead and click with the left mouse, and it'll go ahead and look like it grabbed it. Now, going all the way down with my mouse, as you can see, it hasn't really hit the threshold yet, but it has begun. But once I finish to the bottom, it's ready to close. Now, if you notice that, it took me a great while. Just go ahead and move down here and that's closed. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do is make that a lot faster without having to move your mouse all the way down or your finger. And it's called an app called Close Threshold for Metro Apps. Now, for instance, if I were to go ahead and reach this all the way down to say 500, just to show you a slight effect and difference between this and all the way down, I'm going to go ahead and save the settings. And then once that is saved, I'm going to go ahead and start a couple more apps. Let's save for maps, SkyDrive, and news, and people. Now, with these apps open, for instance, news, I'm going to go ahead and grab hold of the app by reaching up to the top of the screen, clicking on it. And then with my mouse, I'm just going to barely move it. And it's ready to go ahead and close. So I don't have to reach all the way down here. Just go ahead and close it. It's already set with a flicker of my mouse to go ahead and close. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this right here and a bunch more. And you can see how fast that was. Now let's go ahead and see if we can really maximize this to the fastest it can possibly be and make the threshold a lot faster. I'll go ahead and save. And once that's saved, I'll go ahead and start a couple of these. And now with these applications, I'm just going to barely move my mouse and boom, I haven't even made two inches on the screen and it's already ready to close. I can do another one. Bam, it's gone. And Windows Store is gone. And Desktop, it's gone. Now these apps, being that what I did has been closed completely. That's exactly how you go ahead and close Metro apps differently in a more of a easier way, knowing that they are closed. And like I said, if you guys do want to go ahead and see other methods, go to the channel Lord Rasiri, which is located in the channel box on my channel. And he might have a few more tips on how to close Metro apps if you don't want to go ahead and use this method. All right. And until next time, see you later, guys.